Claire Walsh is a federal prosecutor. That means it's her job, her sworn responsibility to put you in prison. You with me so far? Yes? Mm -hmm. Good. All right. She failed miserably when Judge Carroll sent Michael, and not you, to Pennville. Mm -hmm. She looked ridiculous. That's why Claire has gotten Jason out of Pennville, so he can help go after Franco. That's a big risk on her part. She's either going to be responsible for the apprehension and capture of a serial killer, which could salvage her career, or she will be responsible for a well-known hitman killing a cop which could have quite the opposite effect. Jason's not going to kill um, Dante. Okay, would you want to just step into reality with the rest of us here, Sonny? Yeah. Jason hates Dante profoundly, deeply, and with good reason. Dante served Michael up to the system with both hands. And the only reason that Dante is still alive is because he's your son. But Dante is not Jason's son, and Michael may as well be. And Jason's love for Michael and his hatred of Dante are going to override his loyalty to you. I've lost track right now because are you are you lecturing me on Jason, Dante, or Claire, or are you just filling time and then you can bill me later? <laughs> okay. Well, my point, <laughs> which I absolutely will bill you for, right. is that if Claire Walsh can make a case against a mob kingpin, and that would be you, then her case against Jason is absolutely irrelevant, and I would watch your back, among other things. Have fun tonight. Both of you. Why do I waste my time and your money? What are you doing standing around? Good night. Carly. Hello? What the hell? Is Christina all right? Michael and Christina are okay. Where are you? We're at the hospital. What happened? I'm not clear on all the details, but Warren Bauer wanted Christina to give him access to her medical records, and she refused. He threatened to hit her, and Michael stopped him. Did that son of a bitch Bauer lay a hand on either of my kids? Michael went after Warren. Lucky broke it up. No one realized that he had a gun. He snapped. He tried to shoot Christina, but Michael saved her life. Anybody hurt? Mac is in emergency surgery. Ethan Lovett was shot in the neck. We have no idea what's going on with him. What about Warren? Mac was able to shoot him. He's dead. <sighs> okay, let me, let me speak to uh, Christina. Dad wants to talk to you, sweetie. I can't. Let me explain. Okay. Dad? Michael, you okay? Yeah, yeah, no, Dad, I'm good. Um, Christine's a little shaken up, but she's okay, too. It's okay. Listen, you did a good job taking care of your sister. Thanks, Dad. Listen, I want you and Christina to go home with your mother. I know, Daddy, yeah, we can't. Uh, the hospital's on lockdown. No one can leave. Because of Warren Bauer? No, um, somebody swiped a baby. Let's, uh, let's check the staff files. Everyone has been working the last 12 hours. Doctors, orderlies, janitors. Okay, all right, just give me a minute. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, thank me when we find Aiden. I'm just, I'm just saying it must be difficult for you given the situation. Yet here you are searching for Aiden as if he were your own son. Thank you. Thanks for meeting me out here. It saves us having to do a bunch of paperwork. I haven't agreed to a transfer. Well, Jason Morgan is a convicted felon. He was released into my custody. This is PCPD jurisdiction. Franco died in Los Angeles. We need to book him and extradite Morgan back to New York. Morgan's a flight risk. He was released as bait. Franco's dead. I need to get Jason back to Pentonville to serve out his original sentence. The injury was life-threatening, but it wasn't that difficult to repair. The bullet nicked his carotid artery. What about his trachea? Ethan's a lucky guy. When he wakes up, he should be able to speak. He won't need a ventilator. Barring any complications, he'll be fine. Yeah, no thanks to me. We'll talk about that later. I froze. A man was dying in front of me, and, and I couldn't even help him. Maya, you're an intern. You're still learning. So learn from this. Figure out what went wrong and how not to do it again. 
In the meantime, I need you to check on his vitals. Stay on it. So, unless this up, Max is gonna spend the rest of his life in a wheelchair. You're not gonna mess this up. Yeah, that's right. I made a promise to a very pretty lady. I'm not gonna let her down. It's so surreal. It's like no one's even here. It's so peaceful, like nothing even happened. What do you think's taking so long? They, they would tell us Mac died. Yeah, you would, Robin, because you're on staff here, but of all the years I've been a patient at hospitals, I realized they only tell you what they want you to know when it's convenient for them. Do you think Mac even knows that we're here? Did you ever try to sneak in past curfew or cut school and then just run into Max and where you weren't supposed to be? You're right. He knows. He knows everything. Not that we'd ever admit it. Do you think you could go check on him? Just make sure everything's okay? I want to. I just, I don't want to distract Matt and Patrick from the surgery. Or you're afraid of what you might find. I'll check on him in a little while, okay? It's pretty spooky around here, isn't it? How's Ethan? Oh, well, he got through the surgery with flying colors. Any, uh, any word on your uncle? Not yet. Well, I'd be glad to scrub in and see if I can help. Don't you dare go anywhere near that operating room. And you keep your manipulative, home-wrecking self away from my family. Nothing. Nothing? Did something happen that I don't know about? I hope not. No thanks to Dr. Niles. She definitely wants to help herself to your husband. 